It's time once again for HTBL Baseball. And hello everybody, this is Big Polly coming to you this day two of the HTBL in game time. That is April 6th. And today we're going to have Philadelphia entertain somebody who I have already forgotten, the Miami Marlins. That's who they're playing today. Yeah, that's the ticket. So let's show you what happened in yesterday's games. Uh, the game that you saw uh, last night here on the Big Polly's World of Sports Sims channel was Baltimore besting the New York Yankees 4-3. to Rusi got the win. Quinn took the loss. And Earl Combs of the Yankees went 4-5. for five. In other games, the Dodgers beat the Diamondbacks 6-5, Drysdale over Tony Mullane, Jackie Jensen had went 3-for-5 and had a home run. In the game I do, because I am Tampa Bay's general manager and I will play Tampa Bay offstage, uh, unless they happen to be game of the day, and that would happen when they are... Uh, they would be leading the American League East. Not, not like that's going to happen anytime soon. Tampa Bay beat Boston 8-3 in a surprise. Weimer... Uh, one of the 10 draft picks we had went uh, got the win. Cy Young took the loss. Pete Browning, another one of our draft choices, went 4 for 5, two doubles, and a stolen base. Detroit over Toronto, 9-3. to three. Larry got the loss over Waring. Heilman went 2 for 3 with two RBIs. The Browns of St. Louis over Minnesota, 8-5. to five. Page got the win. Hecker got the loss. And Harlan Clift went 4-4 four for four with two doubles. Texas over Oakland, 9-6. to six. Welch over Keefe. Katze went 2-4 two for four with two RBIs for Oakland. Philadelphia, the game we're about to do from yesterday. Alexander over Powell in a 5-3 win. The Phillies over Miami. And it was Dalt, Dutch Dalton going two for three with a homer and three RBIs. The Mets over the Washington Nationals, two to one in ten innings. Kuzman over Kilroy. Howard Johnson had a home run. The Reds over the Expos, seven to five. Demery over Morris. Chris Chambliss went three for five. Atlanta scalped Pittsburgh 13 to 6 Necro over Romo Javi Lopez went 3 for 4 a homer and 4 ribbies Cleveland over Chicago 2 to nothing in a shutout Feller over Walsh Feller went the, went the distance and struck out 6 The Royals over the Astros 3 to nothing Spawn beat Plank and Quisenberry got the save Milwaukee, the Brewers beat the Cubs 10 to 3. Hutchinson over Jenkins. Berger, Wally Berger, went 3 for 5 with a homer. The Cardinals beat the Rockies 3 to 2. McDaniel over Fuentes. That game took 14 innings. Medwick went 4 for 7 with 3 RBIs and a triple. Finally, actually not finally, because I think I got one more game after this to tell you about. The Mariners over the Angels 10 to 2. By the way, Jackie Robinson plays on this Angels team. Langston over to Nana. Buner for Seattle 2 for 5, 2 homers and 3 RBIs. San Diego, the Padres over the Giants, 2 to nothing. Cheeseboro got the win over Perry, and Gonzalez went 1 for 3. And with that, we'll get back to today and the big game between Philadelphia and Miami. And my cat suddenly wants to leave the room, so stand by, folks. So it's the Phillies and the Marlins playing in Philadelphia. On the whole, you would rather be there. Actually, we'll make Miami the computer team, and Philadelphia will be the human-run home team. Which I will be controlling. At Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia, we use the 2020 parks. We use a 20-man, 20 29-man roster. And we use the DH. Both leagues use the DH. I'll show you replay stats. And we'll go through the lineups. 
pitching for Philadelphia, Charlie Ferguson. Charlie Ferguson pitching for the Phillies. And remember, he's probably one of the 10 players that were drafted by each of the 32 teams. We'll go through the lineups here. Looks like everything is in order on the field. Pierre leads off. He plays center. Collins at third. Ott, Mel Ott at, at right field. Because remember, the San Francisco Giants are just made up of San Francisco Giants. So a lot of players went a lot of places. White at first base. Willingham left field. Ugla, Dan Ugla at second base. Barbary is your DH. Dark, your shortstop. Perez catching. In the outfield, it's Delahanty. He is a six. And he has an arm of five. Hamilton, Billy Hamilton. He is a six. His arm is a four. Abreu, he is a six. His arm is an eight. Schmidt is a nine at third base. Rollins is a seven at shortstop. Utley, a nine at second. And Larkin, that's Henry Larkin, not Barry Larkin, who could play a lot of positions. He's a five at first. Dalton. A seven catcher with a five arm, and Ferguson is a three, playing defense as a pitcher. We have Juan Pierre up at the plate, and we're ready to get this game started. First pitch, right back to Ferguson over to Larkin, first out. Up now, Collins, that is Jimmy Collins. So far this season, he's one for four. That's hit to center. Hamilton should get it. He does. Two outs. Millot, Master Melvin, he went one for three in his first game. This is day two. Base hit to the left field. Goes to the wall, and Ott has a double. And for some reason, I'm seeing a lot of percentages in my lineups. So let me just fix that. And there we go. I must have uh, messed around with that last night. Here's Bill White. Would play for the Cardinals, but the Cardinals did not include him in their 40, 40 players that they could pick. So White now with Miami. And that is caught by Utley. Pitching for Miami, Kid Nichols. And Miami is out of the first. Kid Nichols is the pitcher for Miami. He'll give you a lot of innings because he's a 19th century player. The lineup for Philly. Abreu in right. Rollins shortstop. Delahanty is your left fielder. Schmidt at third. McGee DHing. Utley at second. Hamilton at center. Larkin at first. Dalton is your catcher. Ferguson pitching and he can go 130. And he only used 10 pitches up in the first. Nichols can go 135. That's his EPC. Willingham is in left. He is a five fielding and a five arm. Pierre, seven center fielder, a three arm. Ott is a six defender, a nine arm, so you're not going to be able to run on him too much. Collins is an eight at third base. Dark, a seven. You could also pitch, which I find interesting. Ugla is a six. Bill White is a ten at first base. Salvador Perez is an eight with a six arm. And Nichols is a three. So let's get to the Philly first. And here's Abreu. And that either hit him or it was ball four. Nope, it was a ball four. First walk issued by Nichols. His first start. Rollins steps in. He's 0 for 3 so far this year. First to pickoff move. He's safe. Back to Rollins. Grounded to short. Could be a double play, but no. You only get the force at second, so Rollins aboard. Next up, El Ed Delahanty, who is 0 for 3 this season. As we have each team only playing their is playing their second game. Philly won their first, and Miami lost their first, and they're playing again today. Hit well the center. Pierre on his horse makes the put out. And that is is should be out number two For some reason the board is not working willingham base hit that goes all the way to the wall and he's got a double that brings up michael jack schmidt 
And that's strike three, and they're saying that's the first out. I don't know how that happened, but oh well. That's the first. I'm sorry, folks. Philly, I, I forgot the. I forgot they were three outs, and this is actually the Miami second. My apologies, folks. Did not see teams change side, and I should have. So Ferguson struck out the last batter that was Ugla. No, Ugla is up now. <laughs> Willingham was up. And that's a base hit to left field. Still one out in the second, we think, for Miami. And here's Alvin Dark. When I make errors, I make them. Line to the shortstop, Rollins, and that's the second out for the Miami Marlins in the second. <laughs> Here's Perez, grounded to first. Larkin takes it to the bag himself. So now we're straightened out. We have played an inning and a half, and we have no score. To recap what happened in the Philly first, by the way, just because just I messed it up. Abreu walked. Rollins grounded to the shortstop. Got the force on Abreu at second. Rollins was picked off, and that's what I missed. And Delahanty flied to deep center. So that's what we missed. And in the Miami second, Willingham doubled. Ugla struck out. Barbary grounded a single between third and short, which got Willingham to third. But Dark and Perez could not get him in. So now we're at the Phillies second. You know, when I make a mistake, I'll, I'll, I'll fess up to it. Schmidt. Long fly to left, but Willingham should get it, and he does. One out in the Philly second. McGee, the DH, remember, both in the HTBF, HTBF, HTBL, both teams, both leagues use the DH. That's a fly to center. Pierre should get there with his speed, and he does, and that's the second out in the Philly second. Utley up now. Fly to right. And the right fielder, who was Ott, made the play. And Miami comes up in the third with no score. Pierre back up. He's 0 for 1 in the game, and he is now 0 for 6 in the regular season, which has just gotten started. Larkin, one out, makes the play unassisted. Ferguson now facing Jimmy Collins. Ferguson at 37 pitches. Collins to center. Hamilton, two outs. Master Melvin Ott. Last chance for the Miami team in the third. Base, no, it was caught by Schmidt. Schmidt with a fine defensive effort. So Miami with three hits. Philly... Philadelphia has not gotten one yet, and Miami has left three on base. Hamilton up for the Phillies. That's a strikeout. First one for Kid Nichols. Larkin came into that at bat 0 for 3. Now he's 0 for 4. No, actually, Larkin is the hitter now. Oh, my goodness. And that was a ground ball to first for the second out. Darren Dalton up now. Last chance for Philly in the third. Can he get on base? That it bounces off the wall in center field, and Dalton gets the second. It's a double. First hit of the game for Philly. Bobby Abreu 0 for 3. And so far in this game, he has not had an at-bat. Here's the pitch. Popped up in the air. Ugla underneath it. And we've played three with a confused announcer, but we'll try to fix that. Top of the fourth. No score. It's White up at first base. Bill White, two for five so far on the season. It's a fly to center. Hamilton makes the put out. Brings up Willingham. The pitch to him. Got a base hit last time. Delahanty underneath that for the second out. This brings up Dan Ugla again. And that's a strikeout. Two strikeouts in the game for Ferguson. We've played three and a half and no score. Jimmy Rollins back up. He's 0 for 4, 0 for 1 on the day. 
That's a strikeout. Number two for Kid Nichols. Nichols is at 45 pitches, about a third of the way through his expected pitch count. Delahanty, 0 for 1. He strikes out. And there's now two gone. Now, can Nichols strike out the side? Here's Michael Jack Schmidt. Base hit. Goes all the way to the wall. Schmidt's going to be in there with a triple, his first of the season. So with a runner at third, here comes Sherry McGee. That's a base hit, and the Phillies take the lead. A double for McGee. That's going to bring up Chase Utley. He is 0 for 5 this year and 0 for 1 in this game. And a foul ball. 1 and 2 with 2 out. The pitch to McGee again. That's a base hit. That goes all the way to the wall. That'll score a run. Utley goes for third. He's in there. Another triple for the Phillies, and that gets them their second run. Hamilton, Billy Hamilton up. 0 for 2 so far this season and 0 for 1 today. He struck out. Fourth strikeout for Nichols. So Philly with the two spot in the fourth, they have a 2-0 lead. Barbary, the DH, who played for the Florida Marlins, so he belongs on this Miami team. Here's the pitch to him. He struck out, and he's now 1 for 2 on the day. Alvin Dark coming in, 0 for 1. Once told Jim, Jim Booten to take a hike, son. That's mentioned in the book Ball 4. He's out of there on a strikeout. That brings up Perez. Long fly, left center field, but Delahanty with the put out. By the way, the weather today in Philly, 73 degrees and clear winds, a 12 mile an hour wind coming in from right center. After we're at the midway point of the game, it's 2 nothing Philly. Larkin now up for the Phillies. Henry Larkin, 0 for 4 on the season, 0 for 1 in the game. Grounded a third. Collins to White for the first out. Dalton now up. He's the catcher. He's hitting ninth. Hit a double in his last at bat. That's a fly to right, and Ott makes the put out. That is the second out of the Phillies in the fifth, bringing up Abreu, top of the order. That looks like a base hit, and it is. Goes to Ott in right field, and Abreu aboard. Now, I need to change the... Let me see if I can see. Well, hang on, folks. Brayu has a 78% chance of stealing a base, and I haven't stolen one yet, so let's go for it. He's safe. So a base hit could bring the third hit run in for Philly. Grounder. Oh, a mass mishandle by Collins, it looks like. And he will be given an E5. Abreu moves to third on the error. Now, Ra uh, Rollins is an 87% stolen base. Uh, has a stolen base percentage here. He get an 87% chance of stealing second. He got picked off in the first. Maybe he would like to redeem himself. Let's go for it. He got in there. Successful seal of second, and that moves runners to second and third. Could bring in two on a well placed base hit. Here's Delahanty. And that's your base hit. One run scores. Here comes Rollins. It's a two run single. And it's 4 0 Philadelphia. Schmidt up with a runner at first, which is Delahanty. Hit well in the air to left. But Willingham will make the grab. Two runs more for Philly in the fifth, and they have a 4 nothing lead. Pierre up. Top of the order for Miami. He is 0-4-2 on the day. Grounder right to right field for a base hit. And Pierre aboard, and he's a stolen base threat. I would have to think. Yeah, he's 75. We'll try a calling, call, calling card throw over the first just to keep him honest. Collins, pop fly to third. 
can of corn for Schmidt, and he makes a great play to get the first out. Now a double play chance here for Philly as Ott is up. Ott, right to Rollins for the second out. Line drive, and Rollins was easily able to snag it. This brings up Bill White. Bill White is now 2 for 6 on the season, 0 for 2 on the day. Base hit to right center. That's going to go to the wall. He's in with a double. Pierre only goes to third base. Amazing that he did not try to score. So that brings in Willingham. Willingham now one for five. He is one for two on the day. Conference on the mound before the pitch. Caught by Schmidt, and that gets Miami out of the sixth. Five and a half gone by, four nothing, Philadelphia. McGee skied the right, and Ott with the put out, and there's one gone. Utley up, one for two on the day, one for six in the season. That's another routine pop fly. I think Dark will have it, and he does. Two outs now in the Philly sixth. Here is Billy Hamilton. Fly to left. Willingham really doesn't even have to move much, and the Phillies are out of the sixth. We go to the seventh. Four nothing. Philadelphia over Miami. Dan Ugla, 0 for 2 on the day. He strikes out. That's 5 now for Ferguson. Brett Barbary, 1 for 2 on the day. Grounder to the second baseman. Utley over to Henry Larkin for the put out. And now you're looking at 2 outs in the 7th. For Alvin Dark. That's a base hit. Just goes past Rollins for a hit to left center. Perez now up. The catcher for Miami. That's a base hit the right center. That will advance Dark to third. Ferguson now at 109 pitches. Closing in on that 130. We go to one Pierre, top of the order for the Marlins. Base hit. That brings in one at least. Perez moves all the way to third. So an RBI for Pierre, and it's 4-1. to one. Ferguson now at 111. His expected pitch count is 130. This is well hit to left. Delahanty gets the put out, though. Break time, 4-1. Philadelphia. Up, 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 and we're back. Bottom of the seventh, seventh inning stretch was enjoyed by all at Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. On a nice balmy April April afternoon, 76 degrees. Larkin now faces Kid Nichols, who's only at 85 pitches, so he's still very strong. That'll be a foul ball. Thank you, Mr. Umpire. Larkin back up, 0 for 2. Base hit for him, so he's one for three, and he squeezes out a double out of all of that. Dalton up with a 4-1 Philly lead. He is one for two on the day. He had that double earlier on, but a strikeout there. And Kid Nichols has his fifth strikeout. He's up to 101 pitches. Abreu up now. Oh, wait a minute. It's an intentional walk for Abreu, so they go to J-Roll, Jimmy Rollins, with one out and the seventh. Hit in the air. It's going to drop for a base hit, uh, but it was uh, not a well-placed base hit, so everybody moves up just one base. Nobody scores on the play. 
Base is loaded and one out. Oh, actually, no. We have a chance to score. We have a chance to score. Larkin being waved home, he says. And, yes, he's in there. He scores, and Abreu moves to third. I thought for a minute that uh, that was just a base hit that just moved everybody up a base, but no. 5-1 Philadelphia now. Here's Ed Delahanty facing Nichols. Grounder up the middle of base hit. That'll score at least one run. And a second run comes in on that one. 7-1 Philadelphia as they pour it on here in the 7th. So the 7th gets Philly to 7th. And here is Schmidt. Schmidt's 143 so far on the year. 1 for 7. He's 1 for 3 today. Long fly to left. Delahanty watches it go. A home run for Michael Jack Schmidt. And it's 9-1. Nichols still in there to face Sherry McGee. I don't know why he hasn't been given the hook yet. Caught by Ugla. Two outs now in the Philly 7th. And here is Chase Udley. That's hit well to right. And Ott with the put out. So we've played 7. And it's 9-1. to one. Ferguson said to be looking fine. We'll keep him in here because Philly is in no immediate danger of losing the game with an eight-run lead. Millot, your hitter for Miami in the eighth. Start off the eighth. That's hit well to left. Can Delahanty get to it? Yes, he can, and there's one out. That brings up White, Bill White. Long fly to left, but not long enough as Hamilton makes the put out. Second out for Miami in the eighth. Josh Willingham grounded the first. Larkin will get to that, do that all by himself. And that's it for Miami in the eighth. Philadelphia back up with a 9-1 lead. Nichols is still out there, 127 pitches. Hamilton looks at strike three, and that's... Number six for today for Nichols, and that's the third time Billy has struck out. Larkin, a grounder to the first baseman, pitcher covering for the second out. That's going to bring up Dutch Dalton. Ball four. To Abreu now. Nichols passed his pitch count limit. And he struck out, Abreu did. So we go to the ninth. It's a 9-1 game. Ferguson still in with a pitch count of 123, almost at his limit. We'll keep him in as long as we think he's pitching competently. There's a strikeout. Number six on the day for Ferguson. Bringing up Barbary. By the way, Ugla was the last hitter. Uh, uh, Barbary is one for three on the day. Inch hitting for Miami. Tom Brunanski. You hear the announcement over the PA. Tom Brunanski comes in. This is the first at bat he has had this season. See what Bruno can do here. That's a long fly to left. Elahanty got to it. Two outs. Alvin Dark, the last chance for the Marlins in this game. Base hit up the middle, so we'll stay here a little longer. Ferguson looks like he's getting tired. He's at his pitch count at 136, but we'll keep him in with Perez up, the catcher. That's ball four. Still no, that's the first walk for Ferguson today. I think we'll give him a batter or two more. Here is Pierre. That's hit well to right, but Abreu underneath it, and the Phillies win. Score 9-1. to one. So it was nine runs, ten hits, no errors for the Phillies. One run, nine hits, one error for Miami. Nichols took the loss, went all the way. He pitched 135 pitches. Eight innings pitched, ten hits, nine runs, seven of them earned. Ferguson went the distance, nine hits, one run, it was earned. Struck out six. Nichols struck out seven, gave up three walks. Ferguson only had one walk. The MVP of the game was Michael Schmidt 
who broke the game open with that home run in the seventh. So that gets Philly to 2-0 and on the year. And our next stop, we'll recap the games, uh, the other games from today on our next edition. Our next stop should be uh, somewhere in the Mideast division of the American uh, National, uh, the American League. Actually, we'll have a game between either featuring either Detroit, Cleveland, Toronto, or Chicago. Two of those teams, and that'll be our next stop on our little tour through the HTBL. This has been Big Polly coming to you, wishing you well. Godspeed and God bless. We'll do it all again soon. Bye-bye for now, everybody.